I was looking at just war index or mm -hmm. people trying to measure, trying to put a number on what wars are seen as just and not. Oh, really? I've never seen that. It's there. there there's numbers behind it. It's okay. it's, it's great. <laughs> so it's great because again, as you do an extensive quantification of justice, mm -hmm. you start to think what actually contributes to our thought that, for example, World War II is a just war and other wars are not. Um, a, a lot of it is about intent and some of the other factors like that you look at, which is prolonged the degree of violence that is necessary versus not necessary given the greater good, of, some measure of the greater good of people, all those kinds of things. The Then there's reasons for war, you know, looking to free people or to stop a genocide versus uh, conquering land, all those kinds of things. And people try to put a number behind it. And a and lot it's of- it's based on, I mean, I, what I'm trying to imagine is, I mean, suppose I wake up and, or it's whatever my, suppose I think my God tells me to do something or or my my god thinks that uh or my moral sense thinks that something that another group is doing is repugnant i'm curious like are they evaluating like the validity of that claim or just the idea that like well you said it was repugnant you deeply believe that therefore it's just i think uh not could be corrected on, on a lot of this but i think this is always looking at wars after they happened so it's and trying to take a global perspective from all sort of a general survey of how people perceive. So you're not weighing disproportionately the opinions of the people who waged the war. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of ended up dodging that because, I mean, w one is to just point out that wars, actually most wars aren't necessary. And so in the sense that there, there's there's another way to get what you wanted. Um, and so on, on one level, there's no just war. Now that that's not true because Take an example like the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan. The United States has been attacked. Uh, there's a culpable agent, reliable evidence that this is Al-Qaeda. They're being sheltered by, in Afghanistan by the Taliban. And then the Taliban, you know, this is this is a bit murky. It seems that there was an attempt to, say, hand him over or else, and, and they said, no way. Now, you can make an argument that invading and, and attacking is strategically the right thing to do in terms of sending signals to your future enemies. Or you just, if you think it's important to bring someone to justice, in this case, Al-Qaeda, then then you maybe that's just war or that's a just invasion. But it hinges on the fact that the, the other side just didn't do the seemingly sensible thing, which is say, okay, we'll give them up. And, uh, and so, so it was completely avoidable in one sense, but if you believe, and I think it's probably true, if you believe that for their own ideological and other reasons, um, you know, Mullah Omar in particular and Taliban in general decided we're not going to do this, uh, then then now you're, you're not left with very many good choices. Uh, and now, I, 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 you know, I didn't want to talk about is that a just war, is that what's justice or not? I, I just wanted to point out that like it, one side's intransigence, if that's indeed what happened, one side's intransigence sort of maybe compels you to basically eliminates all of the reasonable bargains that you could be satisfied with. And now you're left with really no other strategic option but the, to invade. And I think that's a slight oversimplification, but I think that that's like a that's like one way to describe what happened.